you want to know why I prefer the PS3 over the 360, is mostly because there's just a lot more console exclusives. Yeah, the 360 has Halo, which I don't really care for. It also has Gears of War, which is like the glitchiest game ever. So the 360 doesn't really impress me, in terms of its game library in my opinion. One of my favorite PS3 exclusives is Valkyria Chronicles. This game is amazing. It's one of the most unique RPGs out there. It combines strategy elements of conventional tactical role-playing games with real-time action sequences that are extremely amazing. Okay, let's start off with the story. It's absolutely amazing. It revolves around a militia squad, Squad 7, from Gallia, a small independent country that's surrounded by two superpowers, the Allied Federation to the West and Eastern Empire, that later decides that it wants to control all of Europia, that starts attacking the Federation first, and later our Gallia, all in theory to control the Ragnite supply. It's like oil for our times. But as you progress, you begin to see that not everything is what it seems. There's so many twists in the game. One minute you're just doing something, you know, playing the game, and then the next minute it takes a complete left turn and completely throws you off into a direction you'd never expect. But it's awesome though. I love it. Now don't get me started on the characters because they're absolutely amazing. Like, the character development is just so well done that I can't even explain it. You have to experience it for yourself. And with a cast of over 50 playable characters, there's really no way you can complain. The story is one of the highest points in the game. And it's really cool because it takes place within a book, so the whole game is basically like a retelling of past events, which works extremely well on a number of levels. It's really cool because it's like you're the one who's interacting with the past. But the highlight of the game is the gameplay. It's absolutely amazing. You basically command your squad of troops in great detail. You have to focus on two screens in order to lead your squad. The command screen and the action screen. It takes a little while to get used to. It's not something you can just pick up and play. You really need to like have some knowledge of what a video game really is, which gives you some exclusivity when playing it because you know not anyone can just pick up this game. So it gives you kind of an elite feeling. You can have up to 20 in your squad, and depending on the mission, you'll deploy usually around 10 guys, sometimes split into teams and placed in separate portions of the map. This gives the game a lot more strategy, which is something that I really appreciate. It's probably one of my favorite RPGs on the PlayStation 3. The battle system was extremely unique, combining elements of three different game genres, including strategy, RPGs, and third-person shooters. It all combines to make a very original and fun battle system. This is a blitz battle system, meaning that it's more strategic than what you'd expect from an average SRPG battle system. The graphics are amazing. They're really cutting edge, seeing that it uses a canvas graphics engine, so it looks really nice. I like that the characters kind of have a watercolor tone to them. The music is very delightful, by the way. 